Okay guys, so I am having friends having issues with their overclock on the i5-6600K. Now I am doing a live recording and my computer is right in front of the mic, so if you hear a turbulence of air, you know why. I'm exaggerating. But if you hear a little noise, you know why. There's also traffic outside and sirens going around and yeah, the whole nine yards. So I can't really edit that out of my voice because I'm doing a camera and microphone recording at the same time. So let's get to this here. Let's talk about the voltages, the CPU core voltage. I got my overclocked at 4.6 gigahertz, okay? Very stable to me. And I have my XMP profile one to get what I paid for, my 2666 megahertz. There's a plane going above me right now. I live near an airport. <sighs> yeah, that blows. Let's go into adva uh, advanced mode and I come over to my AI tweaker here I am and this is how I got mine set up okay you see right there target CPU turbo mode frequency 4.6 because I set it to that I haven't I tried going to 4.7 and I, I, I was not having any stable overclock even messing around with voltages probably my motherboard isn't capable of running 4.7 so I don't know I don't know why I could be wrong, correct me if I, I am. But it seems like some people can, some people can't. So here's my overclock, okay. Here are my settings, take a good look. Okay, I have the ASUS C170 Pro Gaming motherboard. And this is how I got my setup. I got the XMP turned on, okay. I have it on XMP, not manual or auto. I have it XMP. Um, here it is. I can go up to 2800 with this RAM, but I'd rather leave it alone. I don't want to mess around with anything else. Black frequency 100. ASUS multi-core enhancement. Uh, here it is. Auto. Sync all cores. I got 46 times 100, 4600, 4.6 gigahertz. Okay, but let's take a look at the voltages. I'm rambling too much right here make sure you have your DRAM frequency at what it's supposed to be if it's 2400 make sure you set it on 2400 if it's 2800 or 1866 which you shouldn't really be messing around with 1866 on Skylake that's my personal opinion though go 3000 plus or 2666 man there's a motorcycle shop around this place or motorcycle institute and these loud motherfuckers man fucking oh I'm sorry for my rant. Fucking loud motherfuckers. Okay, I'm sorry for my language. I should probably put on this video that I say a lot of bad words. I really do. <laughs> I just don't like to say them on video because it's just not professional. Okay, so internal PLL voltage, extreme over voltage. But right here guys, this is how I got mine set up. On my first overclock video, I said on the video, leave this alone because it worked for me. But I was getting 1.4, 15, 1.4, 25. And a lot of people started telling me, you know what, Creeper, 1.4 is not safe for an i5 and yada yada. So you know what, I took the advice. Which honestly, 1.4 is not going to hurt your uh, core processor. Honestly, it's not. To me, it's not going to hurt it. I have read many articles online and it's not going to do anything. But a lot of people are having issues with it auto. So if your overclock is not working on auto, which is where I had it on auto here, go to manual mode. Okay, just set it on manual. Right here, it's where you are going to change the core voltage right here. CPU core voltage override because you're going to do it manually. Now, at 1.4, it was doing perfectly fine. But since I changed to manual mode to down the core voltage from 1.4, 25, 35 sometimes, I wanted to be under 1.4. I set it to 1.25 and I was getting crashes and I was getting boot fail. So try not to have a lot of boot fails because it's going to mess up with your SSD or Windows it's installed it is gonna start saying you need to repair Windows and you're gonna get stuck in that and you're gonna have to <laughs> yeah it's painful I had to do it twice on this build at one time I set it on offset mode and I and I tried to boot up 
and trust me I, I had to do the whole Windows installation again I don't understand why I went to some forums online and people had no idea what the hell I was talking about why Windows got damaged from setting it to offset mode or adaptive so be careful on that don't set it on offset or adaptive leave it on auto okay or manual mode and at 3.25 I was getting like I said crashes but I was getting a boot and perfectly fine I was able to get into Windows but when I did my stability test I was getting crashed I kept messing around with it at 4.6 so I set it to 1.375 and, and it was going up to 1.425 again and I didn't want that. So I came back to the BIOS and I set it to 1.345 and right here guys worked perfectly fine for me. Now let's go into the stability test and let's run it and let's watch for this number here. You're going to see it go up to 1.375. 1 Let's get to it guys. Okay guys, I am here. I am sorry for the shitty mic quality. I'm using my Total Beach headset, uh, the Ghost Edition. I've had them for two years now, so the quality is not that great, but I am doing live to you because I want to do this live. So let's go ahead and open uh, CPU ID Pro Gaming C. CPU ID. So let's go ahead and have that open. Okay, I'm gonna put that up here. And look at that, 1344, 1345. Let's go ahead and open ADA64. So here we have it. Here we got ADA Extreme. Uh, let's go ahead and open ADA64 CPU ID because I'm going to run the stress test. So I'm going to set this here to monitor my memory. Okay. I just want to make sure that everything is fine. I'm going to have this one to monitor the, f uh, the frequencies. So this one is. Let's see, 1344. One, four. This here is idle. So uh, let's go ahead and run the system stability test. Uh, you can see here the temperatures average. Right now, this is the average temperature. Re remember, you've seen that on the bias. So this, this program here, it has become to me one of the best programs to run my system stability test. I'm going to stress the CPU, stress the FPU, and st stress is the cache, and stress the system memory now some people just want to stress the CPU and make and, and just stress it like that no we're gonna stress the whole computer with the whole overclock to monitor the real voltages so let's get started temperatures boom hit it so you can see here 1.3 1 1.376 1.360 I told you it didn't go over to that see it's not 1.4 anymore 